A unique aspect of the solution-focused approach is that it reverses the traditional order of therapeutic interviews by beginning with a description of how the client's life will be different after the problem is either solved or it's being coped with so well that it no longer constitutes a problem. Solutions are developed by utilizing carefully constructed questions designed to identify exceptions, that is, times in the client's life when the problem is not present or is present to a significantly lesser degree. Because of its focus on client strengths, and existing resources within the client's everyday life, solution-focused treatment is typically short-term, usually constituting six sessions or less, although this, of course, varies. In recent years, solution-focused brief therapy training has been one of the leading approaches in the world and continues to grow in popularity with writings on solution-focused approach having been translated in more than 14 different languages. Well, I was lucky enough to work with them on and off doing trainings um, on a fairly regular basis beginning in the early 90s, right up until their respective deaths in 2005 and 2007. And there was never a time that I taught with them or spent time with them that I didn't learn something useful. They both really embodied um, a posture of deep respect and inherent optimism and just plain kindness towards their clients and to their colleagues as well. Um, Steve DeShazer was a man of few words. He used to say that his father had said that each person at birth is only given a limited number of words, and we have to be careful not to use too many of them up in one setting. In Sue Kimberg was um, raised, born and raised in uh, South Korea, and uh, came to the United States uh, as a young college student. And um, she always spoke English with a slight uh, Korean accent, and I think it actually added to her effectiveness. She had never studied hypnosis, she told me. However, I felt that her delivery of uh, various solution-focused techniques was mesmerizing in the way that a very good and very respectful hypnotherapist uh, way of speaking would be mesmerizing. 